And speaking of change, we're gonna get to one now of my favorite stories, uh, which does make me very hopeful about AI. So when I was in college, there was this book company called Chegg, where you could rent your textbooks and everybody was doing it because at least it was cheaper than the goddamn bookstore. Um, however, Chegg since then has expanded almost dramatically. I, I guess, uh, I don't wanna get sued by anybody here. Let's just say that they have internal products which help students on quizzes, exams, and other things uh, for standard curricula. It's for kids Some to cheat. people have what called it for. cheating. Some people, <laughs> some educators, um, have called it a place which is basically legalized cheating, and they have been printing money um, ever since. Their stock has been a long time profitable company. Well, in a fascinating new filing, let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen, guys. They say this, quote, in the first part of the year, we saw no noticeable impact from ChatGPT on our new account growth, and we were meeting expectations on new signups. However, since March, we have seen a significant spike in student interest in ChatGPT, and we now believe it is having an impact on our new customer growth rate. That line alone sent the stock tumbling 37%, Crystal. 37%. Now, keep in mind, Chegg is a $12 billion company. Holy um, cow. It was literally actually on the uh, cover of Forbes magazine in 2021. The cover said this, this $12 billion company is getting rich off students cheating their way through COVID. Now, once again, they said it, not me. Um, now, what they say is that the Chegg study program, which was $15 a month that you can buy from Chegg, um, was one of those that you could subscribe to. It was basically like a subscription product, um, which you, know, you could get essay prompts and other standardized curriculum and students and others who had uh, either filled out prompts for, and in some cases, people who work at Chegg basically helping you know richer kids or at least kids with money uh, easily more make their way through college. Well, what do we know now though? Which is that ChatGPT has disrupted so much, not only of the way that kids cheat, but of the way that educators are working their way around cheating. Yeah, that's true. And that's why I actually still believe ChatGPT could save education. Wrote stupid, busy work has always been the bane of the existence. It was only created because of bureaucracy and the need to box check and all that. Now, we have to get back to a place of in-person essays, which require spontaneity and thinking, which you can't, you know, you're handwritten, you can't use a computer. By the way, there's a lot of evidence. You can go listen to Dr. Andrew Huberman's podcast about why handwriting something out is much better for you than typing. Take it from a guy who probably has, <laughs> has terrible handwriting and actually doesn't write anything down. I still do think that there's a big role for that, especially whenever you're trying to learn and absorb information. Mm -hmm. But second, and probably most important, is it's bringing back in-person discussion inside of classes. I remember, I'm sure you do as well, being some of those gen ed classes with four or 500 people. It's like, what are we doing here? This is, you know, we're all box checking some BS gen ed requirement. The, the guy doesn't want to be here. He's like some adjunct getting paid like $1,000 a semester eating ramen in his apartment. Everybody in the class doesn't want to be here. Everyone is just fake doing the reading. It was, it's all BS, except everybody in the room is taking out hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever in student debt. Yeah. So let's get away from that. Let's actually learn something. Let's have a discussion. And I think everybody, especially me, I can think back to the school. The classes where I learned the most were ones where we did almost no busy work, very few essays. We just sit there and talked. And so I still think about my favorite professor ever. Um, I don't remember any of the assessments. All I remember is sitting there and having my mind blown by this guy who is just lobbing like intellectual bombs at us. And I'm like, I've never thought about something like that. Yeah. And it still sticks with me, you know, to this day. Yeah. I mean, personally, I was like really good at the rote like uh, memorization. Of course. But that's not necessarily a good thing though. <laughs> Yeah. Right? But yeah. you're 100% correct. Yeah. The courses I remember and the things that I actually like retain from college had nothing to do with any of that. And I do think that there is a possibility that chat GPT and other um, you know, AI sort of forces a rethink of education in a way that could be revitalizing and could ultimately be mm -hmm. beneficial. But this also, to me, just shows, you know, now it's disrupting the, the cheating industry, the multi-billion dollar cheating industry, apparently. It shows you how quick the uptake is. It shows you how many people have already figured out ways to work this into their life to, you know, do whatever it is that they needed to be done. And, um, you know, it's clobbering this uh, Chegg, but that's not the only company 
that is already anticipating that there are going to be huge impacts from this technology. And, and that's the other piece of it. I mean, we talked about the warnings, um, some of them quite dire, some of them quite terrifying of what this AI could mean for all of humanity. There's also a lot of um, concern about what it could mean just in terms of employment and social disruption and how many millions of jobs could potentially be lost. And I know the COPE is always like, oh, well, people just use AI to help enhance the work mm -hmm. that they're doing. Maybe in some instances, but there's no doubt about it that that level of intelligent and um, ability to have automation could crush a lot of industries, could crush a lot of white collar uh, work, which is ironic because a lot of the concern was about more uh, blue collar or even service sector work. Now the real threat is in any sort of white collar industry where, you know, an AI could at least make the first pass for paralegals, accountants, all sorts of things that could be directly impacted by this. And again, not in the like long off distant future. I'm talking like right now, very, very soon, imminent, already happening. Yep. Keep it in mind, folks. Like, just, it's just so funny, too, that the very first industry that ChatGPT appears to have nuked is effectively for the privatized cheating program, which, look, uh, you know, you never ex you never know where these disruptions will come, and I think it's the first shoe to drop of many. Personally, again, I think it's a good thing. It's not really, you know, no offense to Chegg. It's more about the system that Chegg was architected to try and help. It was all crap in the first place. So like, let's get to the point where you're just learning how to think. That's probably the most important thing you can learn in college if you're in liberal arts. On the math side and engineering now, that's actually completely different. But even there, a lot of the rote memorization quizzes and all of that, if you're cheating on it, then are you really learning what you're supposed to anyway? There's gotta be a better way. I, I've always thought that, you know, both my parents in education, a lot of people have long been frustrated by curriculum and bureaucracy and all of the different, you know, ways that we got to to where we are, and this is an opportunity to just be like, enough, let's start something new. So I really hope that we get there. We will keep watching it because I think this is one thing that could profoundly impact our entire society and civilization. So yes. we'll keep our eye on it closely. Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now. And Sagar and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff, to upgrade the studio. We just want to give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us. And if you like what we're all about, this is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.